Saturday, September 7th, a spectacular late summer day in the thin air of Ogden, Utah, as several hundred competitors prepared for the grueling event. Among the contenders in the men's elite race were Sam Osborne, a New Zealander who had already won five Xterras this season, and Karsten Madsen, a 27-year-old from Ontario, who grew up playing Canada's national sport, ice hockey, before realizing endurance events would give him a better chance to fulfill his athletic ambitions. For me, uh, I wanted to be a professional athlete my whole life um, and you know I, you never really know uh, that you know it's gonna work out and you just you kind of hold this you know almost as a naive hope. 2010 was my first pro race but it wasn't until 2013 that I felt I was starting to be competitive among the pro field. At Madsen's first Xterra in Whistler, British Columbia he found himself both humbled and hooked. I got to the finish line, and yes, I was beat by you know a lot of a lot of guys, and but I also had this like that was incredibly fun, that was incredibly epic. I want to do this again, and that was really what kind of lit the fire into this is 100% what I want to chase, and I want to become the best I can at this. Madsen's best made him one of the best in the world. In 2016, he enjoyed a breakthrough season, going on a winning streak and gaining enough sponsors so he could legitimately make a living as an Xterra pro. Then, a long-term relationship ended. He found himself listless and unfocused, bouncing from training bases in Canada and Barbados and failing to finish at the World Championships in either 2016 or 2017. People were beating me again and, you know, I felt I was like declining and, and so there's a lot of mental, mental kind of anxiety that goes on that and, you know, uh, probably one of the, the hardest moments was, you know, in, in Maui in 2017 was just mentally just quitting on the race and I remember just getting back to transition and, you know, throwing my helmet down out of frustration. Okay. Can't just have a car, so. All right. Um, most people wonder why my hair stays in place when I race. I mean, it's just, it's good hair products. That's, you know, if you look good, you race fast. In 2018, Madsen pulled himself out of his funk. He started meditating did some training with Canada's national triathlon team and found himself fit and refocused. Then, this April, a setback. Mads had fainted during a race in Spain. The scary episode was a result of atrial fibrillation, a heart arrhythmia with which he'd been diagnosed in high school. Forced to leave the triathlon circuit, Madsen went back to Canada to undergo a procedure called a cardiac ablation he returned to competition in July, placing third at Xterra Victoria in British Columbia. I was very frustrated at the finish line of that for about five minutes, and then I pulled myself out of it and was like, whoa, wait a second, you had four catheters in your femoral artery like a, a week and a bit ago, like you need to give yourself a little bit of a break. By September, Madsen was stronger mentally and physically, and ready to take on some of the world's best at Xterra Pan American Championship. 